Yo, yo, yo. It's D. Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about why women will submit to you as if as if they're very attracted to you when you go on semen retention and why they basically won't when you relapse um they're gonna test you a lot more when you relapse they're going they're gonna submit to you they're, they might even start doing favors for you when you've re been retaining for at least for a while see the, see the thing is the biggest scam that we were told when we were younger and society and everyone is this over sexualized um over sexualized um society meaning meaning if you if you if you were to get the cheeks then you're accomplished as a man you're 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 you're, you're known around like you can puff up your chest because she gave you the cheeks and the funny thing is there there's this episode of the simpsons that i might that i might do a reaction later and it's basically a story it's basically the plot is homer the main character and his wife marge um basically there was one night where where homer where marge didn't give homer the cheeks where marge where homer didn't give or marge didn't give homer the cheeks and he got he got like pissed off homer got pissed off so he decided to go to work early and then he he started realizing all of these benefits when he when he when he went to work early he saw that he got he got coffee that was hot um he was the first one to get the the breakfast breakfast food and he even cleaned up a little bit and and so and so he didn't want to partake in um and his old and his old friends like type of activity and also um his boss gave him a raise and the funny thing is um so it went on and basically like homer was homer like the new version of himself so he basically rejected the cheeks from from marge and it went on and then eventually what happened is that he basically gave in and then he he he, he resorted back to normal an oaf named homer now this is pretty funny because because in some sort of correlation there is a correlation between what happened in that episode and kind of real life now i'm not saying that just because you're abstaining from from ejaculation we're only talking about ejaculation pretty much pmo where you you're, you're fapping with your hand um or we're, we're talking about ejaculation in general Basically, like if the pent up ejaculation, what what it does to you, what it does to your brain, it, there's there's this thing called a prefrontal cortex in your brain, somewhere in the 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 mirror part, the front part of your brain. And what tends to happen when you decide to retain for a little bit of while, is that the 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 seminal ejaculate that's in your that's stored up in your nut sack it's it gets reabsorbed by your body it grows through your entire body it grows through your head and it reabsorbs and it and it makes your it makes your product the product the productivity in your brain start circulating at all corners meaning there's going to be more more brain activity in your brain that's why you may tend to feel a little bit like you can critically think you can you, you can become become smarter uh, you, you can put problems two and two together a lot easier when you go on retention a lot easier when you go on retention um you just become your brain activity you start thinking deeper thoughts you start you start you, you stop thinking about the shallow you start think your your, your intuition starts to develop more and now you're and you stop the shallow minded thinking the surface level thinking and you go very deep you start putting you start critically thinking you start putting two and two together a lot of the things that you didn't understand maybe in the past now that you're retaining you start realizing this is the reason why it happened your intuition is full bloom and the thing about intuition is someone who has a very large and very is very intuitive he has the ability to problem think and he's also an empath I meaning he can feel the energy of other people around him and then he can 
he can change his body language to make other people comfortable. And this is a very powerful skill to have because if you can do this, where you can start making other people who, who become around you more comfortable and you're not really judging them, but you can talk with them in a certain way, you can talk with them in a certain way to make them feel safe, to make them feel that they're understood and they're heard. This is a very powerful skill to have because if you can start doing this, then people are going to open up themselves to you. And when people start opening themselves up to you, and if you're maybe in a sales position, in a in a in a attraction position, in a social setting, you can start getting them to do the things that you really want them to do if they're comfortable around you. The reason why maybe she 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 held, she held back is because she might not be she might not be comfortable around you so i mean it's best to cr create your it's, it's, it's best for your intuition to sprout and the thing about the 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 episode and things is that you because you're you abstain from the ejaculate all of the seminal fluid is start going through your body and now th those are going to have b pretty big uh indicators on your behavior your behaviors are going to change a little bit and behaviors are the prerequisite to attraction if you can change your behaviors meaning you're just a lot more confident in your body language your 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 vocal tonality is more confident the banter uh that you that you use is just more charismatic and intelligent and you can cr communicate on an emotional level with other people you're just going to be known as more an attractive person see the thing is it goes deep in attraction and everything in general it goes a lot deeper it's a lot deeper than you what is on the shallow what is shallow well, on the shallow surface because the people who don't really critically think and they don't they don't think much about anything and they keep feeding themselves with these GMO foods, these these low vibrational foods that they keep eating over and over, and they keep wasting their attention on things like the news, like video games and things like that. They're not, they don't, they don't have a higher vibrational way of thinking. So every, so they, every problem that comes to them, they're gonna look at it for exactly what it is. They never, they're never gonna look deeper into what the meaning or what it could be telling them. They never learn from their mistakes. They're, they keep doing the same thing, expecting something different. They never take action. They're just, their life is a revolving door. It's never increasing. It's not. It's never an escalator going up. It's a revolving door. And I mean, this is a this is a sad sight to see because pe people who've leveled up, they're gonna look back and then they're gonna see people who are still at that same spot and they their mindset never changed, their actions never changed, their their critical thinking never changed, and they're still in the same spot. And this is a very sad thing to see. But I mean, if you're on retention people think retention is overrated and it's more it's more than getting it's more than attraction it's 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 developing yourself into somebody that you can look back and you can say wow he really came up and you can really have the evidence to to show for it it's it's like it's more than all this like mumbo jumbo people who aren't believers about semen retention and blah 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 they give it up to every girl and also the thing is if you're on retention, it also makes you, like I said, more an attractive person. That's going to attract higher quality people into your life, not just women. It's going to attract higher quality situations into your life. You ha you have the ability to to emotionally communicate with somebody, with either maybe a a coworker, a boss, a peer, a woman, or things like that. And you're just going to be looked at as a, more of an attractive person. And being an attractive person helps you bring more higher quality things into your life. But very shallow-minded people just think that everything that happens is just because is because it was supposed to be like that. You have to start looking at things from a different perspective. You have to start looking at things at the meaning behind everything. Once you start putting two and two together, you're gonna realize that every single thing is connected. And you're pretty much the creator of your reality. Um, your thoughts are gonna be the potency of your thoughts are going to skyrocket to the point where the things that you might be thinking about yesterday might come into your life literally the next day it's up to you it's up to you to to display empathy it's up to you to display critical thinking it's up to you 
to realize how much you're worth because it, once you realize how valuable the semen of fluid is and how and how it can transcend you into a new area of your life a new area of your life that you really never thought that you could reach you never really want to go back you really you don't realize what the point is like i said maybe maybe if you're an in-shape person and you built you built solid blocks of hitting having a fitness routine and you like the results that you see you probably never want to go back to a different type of lifestyle you never want to go back to a different type of lifestyle because you realize that these benefits are way too good to just give up to go back to what you used to be doing your habits are going to be way too good to give up to go back to the things that you used to do you're not you're not you're not going to be the same also in the episode of the simpsons you 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 you, re you really saw that homer was um his he started dressing a little bit more stuff sophisticated like he wore a peak he wore a jacket like one of those bomber jackets and then he he also wore glasses and instead of what he normally wore like i said he he had he the the what really happened to him is because he abstained from the ejaculate it reabsorbed into his body and then it made his his brain circuits start flowing and then that that made his behaviors whatever whatever he does consistently his behaviors change a little bit and like seriously if you really want a transcendent life it would be better for you to 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 go on no fat retention and start using the benefits to your advantage so you can start getting tangible things into your life um if maybe if you have an instagram um you, you start you, you start you start thirsting for knowledge and then quotes certain quotes that you you might have just overlooked they start meaning something to you a lot more they start meaning to something to you a lot more and then you can relate to higher vibrational quotes higher vibrational thinking the same old things that you used to do they don't they don't they're not attracted attractive anymore they're not as attractive anymore they're not as attractive anymore you you want to start doing things better you you hate wasting time you start realizing that time is valuable you, you don't you no longer want to waste your time let's say watching netflix waste your time doing this waste your time doing this you you want to deeply think you want to build something your your intuition is skyrocketed your deep desires want to be manifested you want to make something of yourself this is what happens when you go on retention for a little bit of time but we we have it here and there you you jack you jack like they say things like s3x is the best thing ever you give it to her you give it to her and you're just wasting it wasting wasting your life and you're you're not producing any assets and you're basically living a life of a, as of as if it's a revolving door and never an escalator so yeah, I mean the choice the choice is up to you. You either have higher vibrational thoughts and a higher bi vibrational life, and you're, the conversations that you have are a little bit deeper, or you we talk about shallow things like, what well, did you what what would you see what was on HBO last night? I mean, there's nothing wrong with this, but if this is pretty much your life where you go home and you don't really have anything else outside of your work life, then there there might be a bigger problem in in the future. If that's if if. If that's what you want so yeah um yes yeah, so you become a you're gonna be a higher vibrational being a higher vibrational being and if you're higher vibrational a lot of higher vibrational things will start coming into your life you will become a mirror of very very um happy things uh, your life will start looking like a movie every interaction that you have is gonna be is, you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna feel the energy with other people you're gonna feel if they're attracted to you or not you're gonna feel the eye contact you're gonna feel certain things and this is a very happy thing because your sexual energy you can use it to your advantage you're you are utilizing the most potent type of energy and you're manipulating it into tan tangible assets tangible things into your life higher vibrational thinking you you want to start listening to podcasts instead of blasting heavy metal you want to start listening to higher vibrational talk uh deep deeper thinking and things like that so i mean if that makes sense you can like the video if you can relate then you can comment and subscribe below and we'll see you in the next video peace